when the egotistical actor Ricky Coogan is hired by the shady corporation EES, everything except shoes, to promote a toxic fertilizer Zygrote 24 in South America, Ricky, his cocky friend Ernie, and the environmentalist protester they both have a crush on, Julie, find a freak show run by the maniacal scientist Elijah C. Skuggs, who transforms visitors into cartoonish sideshow acts for a paying audience. This is Alex Winters and Tom Stern's cult gem Freaked. Like a ticking time bomb of everything distinctly 90s, the film carries a hyperactive, psychedelic, absurdist sense of humour, not dissimilar to 90s Nickelodeon sprinkled over Peter Jackson's early body horror comedies. The film's overt ridiculousness is genuinely impressive with no small effort from the ambitious practical makeup effects that gives each freak their own memorable appearance. At the centre of the film, there is an anti-corporate stance which stands tall against exploitation and supports unionisation, a subject that, for how overtly 90s freaked may be, this central message itself remains highly relevant today. The first recognisable aspect of Freaked is its aesthetic. An audacious 90s MTV-esque style exudes every inch of this film, heavily influenced by the tone and style of Winters' and Stern's earlier short-lived sketch comedy series, The Idiot Box, with the legendary 90s psychedelic rock band The Butthole Surfers providing additional music for Freaked. There's a strong sense of the sardonicism that was present in 90s Nickelodeon cartoons such as Ren and Stimpy, and the shock gross-out humour of Peter Jackson's pre-Lord of the Rings filmography. With its spoof-like nature and quick-fire throwaway gags, such as the incessant troll-like child fan Stewie being thrown through each glass door of the newspaper publication offices he intends to take the news of forced mutation to, the practical makeup and special effects, with contributions from the legendary Screaming Mad George, are ambitious, detailed, often articulate, and always grotesque. The impression these makeup effects is that of bringing a 90s Saturday morning cartoon into reality, with each gnarly and nasty detail preserved. The squirt of pus from Ricky's saws, the twitches in mutated Stewie's ears, the facial movements of a literal cowboy played by John Hawk who would later in his career be Oscar nominated for his performance in Winter's Bone. The practical makeup effects are visually disgusting but never forgettable, often lending themselves effectively to the film's outrageous sense of humour. At the heart of Freaked, in its parodying of manipulated board members, nefarious executives and business owners, is a blunt stance against the exploitation of workers, the fact that the Freaks gradually bond together as a team to defeat Elijah C. Skuggs, the freak show operator, and the executive of everything except shoes, ending their tyrannical control, demonstrates that the firm holds the ethos of unionisation close to its heart. It's a simplistic portrayal, but the narrative focus on eccentrics manipulated for their abilities for the benefit of executives overthrown by unionisation is still relevant today, especially within the current climate of filmmaking, as writers and actors strike for better working conditions, the protection of their work in the future amidst the rise of AI technology, and for better residuals within the landscape of streaming. While there's no real way that Freaked, a film from 1993, could really predict these modern circumstances for striking and unionisation, the significant ethics of unionisation is still present within Freaked, giving the film a layer of relevancy within times when the strength of a union is essential. In conclusion, Alex Winters and Tom Stern's bonkers film, Freaked, with its hyperactive sardonicism and impressive special effects, holds a surprising relevancy at its core regarding the pushback against exploitation by employers. While a financial flop on release, Freaked received a mixed critical reception, with a heavily suppressed theatrical run, screening in a limited amount of theatres and grossing less than $30,000. The film has gradually garnered a dedicated cult following that certainly appreciates the absurdist creative vision the film aims for, frequently mixing outright stupidity with inventive humour, a fusion that causes as many eye rolls as it does heavy laughter. Freaked deserves all of its newfound wildly twisted glory. A special thank you to my incredible tier Patreon supporter Gil and my super tier Patreon supporters Constantine Bombelli and Jamie.